So here we are in Denver Coliseum, Denver, Colorado. Elvis played here three times, 1956, 1970, and 1973. And by the looks of the venue, it's not changed much since the 50s. Uh, from the seating to pretty much everything in the arena, uh, the stage would have been right here. Elvis would have made his entrance uh, from one of these two entrances. Uh, and we're going to do a little scouting backstage to see where the dressing rooms would have been, etc. But it's pretty cool for the fact that an arena this old has survived and has seen many, many acts uh, beyond Elvis, uh, the Rolling Stones, the Who, Led Zeppelin. In fact, we got Led Zeppelin playing now. Uh, there's an event here, I guess, uh, this evening, and they're getting set up for it. But back to Elvis, uh, there's still a lot of standing arenas, coliseums that Elvis played in the 70s, but not many from the 50s. But again, it's quite astonishing that Elvis played here 56, 70, and 73. Of course, uh, 76 concert was at the Nichols Sports Arena in Denver, but it's been since demolished. But this is still a functioning arena. Um, and a lot of great photographs of Elvis uh, during uh, the times he played here. So, some great history here. Just met a guy named Paul. In a few minutes, he's going to give us a tour of all the backstage area, inclusive of the dressing rooms. But there's a tunnel that leads to another building that was for the fans to be ushered into this structure. And it's now closed off, condemned as he put it, but he's going to take us through the tunnel and uh, hopefully we'll see some maybe cool memorabilia. I always love being backstage at an arena to see where all the artists came in, headed to their dressing rooms uh, to change, do some final meet and greet, autograph signings, and then uh, dress for the show that evening. Where we're at now is where Elvis and his entourage would have pulled in, amongst other stars during that era. Uh, the dressing rooms, of course, have all been refurbished at this point, and they're very updated. But again, it's kind of cool to be uh, with a place that the Stones, the Who, uh, Sinatra, about everybody you can imagine from that era had played. From having been in the music business for several years and touring, I'd been backstage at hundreds of venues, and I always imagine uh, the different artists from that era doing what they call the walk meaning that final few seconds that the manager and entourage would walk with the artist to the stage. Uh, they always called it the walk. So I think of many artists that I'd walked with or seen do the walk. And then, of course, I always go back to Elvis taking the stage with the entourage in tow. If only the walls could talk. Again, pretty exciting to see this Coliseum still standing from the 50s. Uh, saw a great photo here of a car show from that era. So there's all these beautiful brand new cars on the floor of the Coliseum. But there's so many events that were hosted here, uh, and, and the music factor is just staggering. So there's been so many live shows here. You think of all the swag and the merchandise sold, the T-shirts, the pennants, the keychains, the posters, and a lot of those pieces are valuable. And then you go to Elvis and you think of what he wore those times he performed there, the rings he had on, uh, the car that he showed up in, the jackets uh, that the entourage wore. Those pieces have been scattered all over the world, much like the merchandise has. They're in every state every corner of the United States, every corner of the world for that matter. And it just seems like every state we travel to, we come across those unique pieces. We're going back down to the lower level here. Next to the stage is the main star dressing room. This is the dressing room we were told that there's a great photo of Elvis that was taken in here. This would have been for the headlining acts, for the last minute meet and greet autograph sessions before the artists took the stage. Of course, the other members of the band, backup singers, etc., would have been in other dressing rooms. 
we got to see part of the arena that virtually no one gets to see. It's an old tunnel that connected the parking lot to the main arena, and it actually goes underneath the interstate now. It's been closed, but it's now a place for storage of everything you can imagine, flooring, tarps, old coolers, refrigeration units, everything you can imagine that was used for different events over the past few decades is now in storage back there. So we got a chance to go back and check everything out, hopefully to find something unique and historic pertaining to music. It seemed like the tunnel went on and on and on. It was a good trek, didn't find anything earth shattering, but it was pretty cool to see what is now a closed off part to any traffic whatsoever. I feel thankful to have gotten a private tour of the Denver Coliseum. I like to thank the staff and all the people that made it possible. It was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Hope you all learned something. Okay, so that's a wrap. That's the final encore. That was the closing vamp. And as they always say, Elvis has left the building. <laughs>